really as soon as the season finished last year and I found out that uh, James Beatty was going to be taken over and Paul Stevenson was going to be the assistant and I knew that the majority of the lads that were here last year were going to uh, we're going to stay. I was, it was easy anyway. I wanted to stay back, come back in this season. I think you're the seventh player to actually put pen to paper on a new contract that was here last season. Is the continuity a key factor? The fact that Paul and James were, were both here last season and both part of the, the team that stayed up? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, uh, it's going to be like a familiar feeling next season as opposed to last season when there's so many changes and chops and changes. And uh, this season, the fact that. Uh, James Beatty was already at the club and, and Steve or they were already here and they're going to be here next season and then as I say I think a lot of the lads are going to come back and then um, hopefully just strengthen with, with some other players and I think it's going to prove to be a really good uh, strong team we've got going into next season. Now obviously the league table would tell you one thing about last season but the form that the team finished this season and tells you something different. Is it difficult to know what to kind of aim for and what to expect next season? Yeah, it is to be fair. I mean, the start we had last season showed what like a few of the young lads can do. We can we can go on them sort of runs and put up uh, put good performances in, and then the end of the season when some more experience came in, some really good players, um, and we went on a brilliant run at the end of the season showed what we can do as well. So. I think we're going to be putting very high expectations on ourselves and definitely wanting to finish up as high as high up the table as we can. I think playoffs are going to be a minimum for us, really, what we've got to look at. So they'll be the uh, standards we'll be setting ourselves and we'll be going out to win every game without a doubt. Eyebrows might be raised at, at talking about, you know, we want to go for the playoffs, but is it just about being ambitious in, in everything you do and wanting to be the best you can be personally and, and obviously exactly. for the team? Yeah, definitely ambitious. Uh, Confident, we believe in our own abilities. I mean, you've seen some of the players we had at the end of the season, and obviously, I don't know who's coming back yet. But all the all the lads here, the lads that have signed so far, are all quality players. We've got now um, a great manager, which is going to be really in really interesting to see. Um, see, it'd be interesting to see who comes in. We've got Steve O, who's a great coach. Um, everyone's going to be really confident going into this season, I think, and ambition, loads of ambition and. Uh, Positivity, thinking we can get right up that table. So far, the only pl the players that have signed have, have been here before. The manager's not brought in any of his own players. Is is there excitement amongst amongst yourselves, amongst the lads that the contacts book that James Beattie's got could attract some really top players? But that's exactly. I think that's what everyone's thinking. Um, it'll be interesting, but um, he hasn't he hasn't done anything yet, so it's, he's probably just taken his time to like get used to the job and and have a look and see. What part? Who maybe who we signing back, and then what parts of the team need strengthening, and uh, who we can attract and who we can get in, and uh, yeah, obviously the places he's been before. He knows so many people in the game, and uh, it'll be really interesting to see who comes in. I'm sure there'll just be loads of quality players. And how much of a compliment is it when you know he's got those contacts, and yet he's saying to you, "I want you to stay. I'm offering you a contract." Yeah, really, really happy. Obviously, to, that he's uh, brought me back because it's just. Uh, it's such a good club to be at, brilliant club, brilliant lads, and uh, I can't see. I can just see this year being getting even better. The atmosphere is quality. We work hard for each other on and off the pitch, and uh, I think it's going to be really fun, really enjoyable, and a really good season. Would it be fair to say you've been bitten by the Accrington Stanley bug? You only came here initially for a bit of a loan spell, and and you're into your third season now. Yeah, well, I think it's the same for a lot of people. Once you come here, it's just different to a lot of clubs, and. Uh, you come here for a little bit and you just you fall in love with it a bit and then the club, the place, the lads, everything's just uh, really good, really enjoyable and that's why so many lads want to come back here once they've been here. It's really a really good place to be.